let's look at circles. Who doesn't love circles? A circle is the set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a fixed point called the center. So if we have a point and we take a pencil and we keep it the same distance around that point and we draw around the point, that gives us a circle. The point is called the center. And we usually name the point with a letter. We'll call ours point A. So this is circle A. A chord is a line segment joining two points of a circle. So you take a point that's on your circle and then you take another point that's on your circle and you connect them. It can be any two points on the circle, but as long as the points are on the circle and connected, it's a chord. So let's see, we want to name a chord on circle A. Well, AC can't be a chord because A is not on the circle, it's in the middle. But BD can be a chord, and the way we would write a chord, since it's a line segment, is line segment BD. There, we have a chord. A diameter is a chord that passes through the center of a circle. So a diameter is a special kind of chord. Not just any chord can be a diameter. You have to be special. You have to go through the center of the circle. So we can have a diameter here, here, or here. You can have any diameter as long as it passes through the center of the circle. Those are really special chords. Let's look at this example. We need to name a diameter of the circle. So AC, that can't be a diameter. It's not going all the way across. But DB, no, that's going across and it passes through the center of the circle. So line segment DB. Perfect, there's our diameter. A radius is a line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle. So if you take a pencil, start at A, and draw it to any point outside the circle, you have a radius. The radius and the diameter of the circle, they got a special connection. The radius is always half of the diameter, and that means the diameter is twice or double the length of the radius. Let's see if we understand this. So if your radius is 4, well that means AC would also be a radius, so it would also be 4, and that means the diameter would be 4 plus 4, or 4 times 2, which is 8. So what do you think diameter would be if the radius was 7? If you answered 14, you are correct. Well, what if they give us the diameter? What if they say the diameter is 12? So that means this whole line segment is 12. And they ask us, what would be the radius? Well, we know the radius is half of the diameter, so half of 12 is 6. What if the diameter is 22? Then what would the radius be? Well, half of 22 is 11. So that means our radius must be 11. Circumference is the distance around the circle. Kind of sounds like perimeter, where you're trying to get the distance around a shape. Except when it's a circle, we don't really call it perimeter. We call it circumference. Sounds much more important. It's almost as though you take a ball of yarn and you go around the circle with it. And then you get a pair of scissors and cut off the length and then stretch it out and measure how long it is. What did the triangle say to the circle? Haven't I seen you around? <laughs> Enjoy your circles.